So this opening image is called The Essence of Oxygen, which sort of suggests what all of this is about. Everything breathes. So the exhibition, the images in the show, in the gallery, in the catalog, really are about my experience of the interconnection of the human and the other than human world, and how there is an exchange of energy and elements in all of those spaces. So where, how did I come to this kind of space, creative space? Uh, it's been quite a long time decades even in the making. Back when I was in my early 20s and I was driving cross country, uh, I was going to Kansas, uh, going driving through Kansas, I was actually going to Denver to go to graduate school. And along the way, if you're familiar with the landscape in Kansas in late summer, it's sunflowers everywhere. Sunflowers, 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 sunflowers. So many sunflowers, beautiful. After a while, you get to the end of the highway where all the sunflower farms are, and then there's nothing. <laughs> it's just Vacant landscape is what it looked like to me at that point. Except for way across, down the highway, flat as it can be, on the horizon, just a tree, a single solo tree. And in that moment, the thought that hit my brain and has gelled there ever since is the idea that even though that seems like it's really far away and it's in the distance and there's a lot of space between us, there is not nothing between me and that tree. So that's what my photography in this gallery and in this show is about. There is not nothing, that everything has an exchange. It's what the visual art is about, and it's what a lot of the poetry is also about. And you can see this is kind of, you can see the exchange going from the sun all the way down into the earth. Or if you really are clever, you know that that's a pool of water. <laughs> as, as above, so below is that one. I'm going to read a piece that is in the catalog. It's called The Yin Yang of Trees. The Yin Yang of Trees. Even when the day is gray, trees embrace the sky, gleaning its light. Here I sit waiting for the next thing to happen waiting for the light to change, lifting me out of my darkness. What can I learn from the patience of trees, their persistence? Gathering such meager offerings, converting them into abundance, like loaves and fishes of a well-known prophet of holy bearing. Trees know Earth's ample gifts, all at their disposal, unbidden and unhindered. They only need touch the Earth as their witness, every one a spiritual master, reaching down into the dark mysteries, drawing up vitality, receiving knowledge, experience being, darkness below mingling with the light above, conjoined twins in the aspect of a tree. This is a working title, Senses. Close your eyes, imagine the color of thunder. Is it black like storm clouds or gold splitting night sky? Listen to the sound of sour and sweet singing on your tongue. A fading chorus of memories filled with bitter loss and savory delights. Feel music on your skin. It moves you to joy or sorrow. Your hair tingles head to toe in all the unseen places while your heart keeps rhythm. Smell green as it rises out of moss covered earth after a summer rain or from pines in a winter forest when all the colors seem to be asleep. Taste the salt air off the sea at low tide. Under a blue moon so rare, you must lap up its mystery, filling the body of your senses. Coming home, here among my sisters, I feel our heartwood pulse. In quiet unison, our shared breath containing all our secrets. Earth hugging mosses caress our exposed weathered roots. Deep anchors in this place confirm connection, absent longing. Footholds fast mid sacred rocks, balanced on shoulders and bedrock below. Solid stones that softly sing a chorus of timelessness while whisper yet impermanence. These trees 
grant me dignity. They crowd and cluster, a cloister along path's edge, where I walk among them, greeting me, their arms stiff, extending sacred invitations. Why should they welcome me so? Offering all of themselves, my only reciprocity and impoverished gratitude. In the late light day, along the root stepped path, receptive to wanderers on the way to discover intention, I arrive, patient earth awaiting my return. And this is a working title, Consciousness. I held a moonlit moth in my hand, slept with it in my heart and dreamed. What if we recognized something other than an impersonal universe? Practice looking at the spaces between the stars, say, this is also me. Feel no discernible edges of time, space, or physicality. Relinquishing conceptual dimensions of separation, lean leaf-like into the gravitational pull of sun's light, where lilting trees cast lengthening shadows. Consciousness creates it all in your mind, my mind, tree mind. Be as the sea around extremities edges, shimmering with every sigh of passing air. Glean secrets whispered on the wind, conveyed to undetectable receptors, less sense perceptions. None of this exists, not even moth-filled dreams. And this is the last piece. Starlight. The sun is our star. Imagine it like all the others in the night sky. Starlight so close it casts leaf shadows across moss. Starlight so close it warms our earth, lifts water to the air, making rain. Starlight so close it feeds every green thing miles in the millions away. From farther out, it twinkles in the galactic night, skies of other planets. <laughs>